Hello everybody, happy Saturday afternoon everyone. Sorry if you guys are wet, Amy sprayed the camera. But today is Saturday, August. Alexa, what day is it today? Wait, August 13th. August 13th. Today I want to film because I am doing tamales for the first time ever, you guys. Yes. Guys, I have to rate them. I have to rate them because there's these certain, so like these are the, there's a certain tamales that that um I get every single day at Walmart. They're like bussin' bussin'. I'm gonna try which one's better, the ones I usually get or the homemade. I think it's, I like the red one, but I said I was gonna be the green one. But anyways, like I was saying, I am making tamales for the first time ever. I used to help my mother-in-law make them all the time but i personally didn't like handmade them like if you know what i mean like i didn't do all the work i would just help her like put the masa put the meat put the sauce roll it up and she'll do the rest so this time i am doing everything on my own which i am a little nervous because but yeah, I am going to be doing tamales de hoja de plátano. We do have a banana tree in our yard. They are big and huge, so I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to cut them down and to make um, use out of them. Yes, the tamales de hoja de plátano are my favorite. I love them better than the regular corn husk ones. So yeah, just wish me luck that they came out good, you guys. The only thing I'm nervous about is the masa part let's see if i do the masa i'm um, good like the rest i i know how to do but it's the masa that i never done before but yeah you guys i'm just gonna bring you guys along a ver como me salen si me salen bien o me salen mal so. so right now i am cooking the chicken i love when my caldito comes out yellow that's when i know the caldo is really really good <laughs> So yeah, I'm just cooking that and then I'm just gonna wait till it cools down, shred it, and then I'm gonna make mole tamales, so I'm gonna make the mole sauce rain. And then I got the maseca, the tamal one, and then I got lard, which is mante manteca de puerco. So I've seen videos that you add this as well. So this is what I'm gonna use to make the masa, and then obviously I'm gonna add salt. I want to show you guys this DIY that I am doing that I found on TikTok. I'll share it with you guys just in case you guys want to do it. Um, so I made the kids a, a backpack station, backpack shoe station, because we have like a we had a little organizer here for the shoes, but it was just not it. Like it was always overflowing. It was messy and I just didn't like the look of it. So I found this video on TikTok of a DIY um, backpack and shoe station. I want to share with you guys just in case you guys want to do it at home. But let me show you. So I bought this cube organizer. It is the brand Bright Room. It is from Target. But I found it on Facebook Market for half the price, you guys. This at Target is $100. But I looked up on Facebook Market like I always do and i found it for 50 dollars and it's literally brand new i think they it's those people that buy like return but it came perfectly fine i had everything but um i got it for half the price bright room target it's the nine cube shelf and it fits the 13 inch storage um collection like the cube organizers so these right here so here it is we made it into a backpack station for the kids it's so cute okay can I do it mine? Cause it's my station. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, so Amy's gonna show you, give so, you a little tour. Wait, let me let me just switch it. Hey guys, so look, I've got a new backpack, a new lunchbox, and you guys, I think my mom, pretty sure, told you this like a million time, times. I'm obsessed with Pokemon. So first, come, come, come. First, I got a Pikachu lunchbox, and then I got a. Pokemon backpack, and it says my name right there. Okay, now let's move on to Aiden. So this is, so he's gonna go to preschool. So look, he has a, we have another hook because my mom still has to buy his lunchbox. But this is his backpack, and it has his name on it, but his name is in the back. Then, I have the station for my mom's purse. Like, she did, literally, she doesn't even eat her purse here. 
she just could literally put up here like she literally couldn't get 90s why do you even put the reboot card okay so let me finish the little tour for you guys so it is a nine cube there's supposed to be other shelves here but we did not add them for there could be room for the backpacks we did add the bottom shelf so right here i am going to buy the uh well i did buy the cube from target the 13 inch one they're gonna get here in a couple days so i'm gonna show you guys once it gets here uh, but yeah the cube organizers are gonna go down there for the kids shoes um this is i did add this for my purse but once andrew goes to school this is gonna be his little section so it's and then up here i did add a little decor i got this from walmart and then we did add our mailbox here and then i added this little like gold char um days of the week so whenever like Amy has soccer soccer practice i can write it here or like the doctor's appointment that's our little backpack station and yeah i just wanted to share it with you guys but i will show you how it looks with the organizer A second batch of masa. This is what I got so far. Little Papa's eating chicken with chicken bras. <laughs> Next chicken. Mm -hmm. You love pollo? Pollito? His curly hair. Tino. Alexa. <laughs> so I am putting them in the pot now. I have my water down there. And then I'm going to put these leftover leaves on top. And we're going to cook them for like about two hours. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day. Last night I didn't film like my result of my tamales but here they are they came out really good so i put these leaves on top like the extra leaves and here are the tamales so right now i'm gonna heat them up for breakfast and i'll show you guys how they look in the inside the baby is eating some rice with black beans and I added carrots and peas in there. He loves these type of foods, which is good because these are like the good foods. That yummy? And here is my tamale, you guys. This is my second one. I almost forgot to film, but here it is. It is really good. Um, but I do want to try the, what is it, the green ones and the red sauce ones. So, I'll probably do those soon. Uh -oh. So today I do have a lot of work to do, you guys. I was supposed to work like the past two days, but I just got super busy with like getting things done and all that stuff. So, today for sure... I need to work and get some orders done. Um, I'm going to be making two um, like press-on aprons. And then I am going to be doing a shadow box. So hopefully I could get all of that done by tonight. <laughs> and it could be ready for Monday morning for them to pick up. So yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along today of a day at work. My husband did take amy and aiden at to grandma's house just where they could go and visit them and be um, away from the house because when they're in the house for a long time they get like irritated so he went to go take them over there for a bit and when my husband gets back he's gonna take care of this little one and mommy gets to work Thank you. 
so I did the aprons this is the logo name so these are done I'm also waiting on t-shirts to come in because they want t-shirts as well so they should be here like any day and I'm gonna add like the same logo as well so these are done and now I'm going to get started on a shadow box this is the before and I'll show you guys the after right now good morning guys excuse my crazy hair I just woke up it is August 16th and I want to show you guys the little backpack station that I was showing you guys earlier um, everything finally came in the cubes came in and yeah I just want to show you guys how it turned out so this is the little backpack station it's so cute so the cubes I got them from Target they're the same brand as the cube organizer Aiden's little lunchbox came in it's so cute bless you and then I put the little babies backpack there and it's perfect because I have three kids you guys so it came out perfect for us and then up here I'm starting to put out my fall decor already that's not gonna go there that was actually on our door but they did come and put a new door so we need to put like a new um screw on there to hang that but this was in the front of my dorm and then our mail here and then just like our calendar and then amy's paper from school and then down here i put the kids shoes that's where all their shoes are gonna go so this is aiden's spot that's amy's and then this is gonna be the babies so i just got done making the kids a sopita the kids love a the sopita but today they do have a dentist appointment amy and aiden and they're gonna eat breakfast really quick what time is it 8 30 we have it at 10. so they're gonna eat really quick they're gonna brush their teeth and then we're gonna go to the dentist appointment oh i am so tired you guys this whole summer that that Amy doesn't have school, I've been waking up at nine, and today I had to wake up early because of the dentist appointment. So I have to start getting used to waking up early again because I used to wake up at seven, and now I wake up at nine. So I need to start putting my alarm and start waking up earlier. So now that I'm showing you guys a little bit of decor, let me show you guys my TV stand. So this is what I did for now. I am not a good decorator, so don't come at me. <laughs> but here I added like a pumpkin and all these cute little decor stuff. I have this as a great pool. I have the garland perfect picture because of the pumpkin patch. And then down here I have this thing that says blessed, but I feel like something is missing. I don't know if something on the sides. I don't know, let me know. But this is what I have here so far. So I made my little Andrew some pasta. I added spinach, um, peas, and carrots. You guys can kind of see it in there. Um, I already gave him this and he absolutely loves it. And then I'm going to put some avocado on the side. And then maybe some bananas. But we'll see. I feel like this is a lot already. He is a, such a foodie little baby. He loves everything. Like every food you give him, he'll eat it. Come on, my love. <laughs> so cute. The kiddos wanted um, sopa de estrellitas, so I am going to make that for them right now.
baby almost finished everything. He absolutely loved it. <laughs> but I am writing down the grocery list and what we're gonna have for the week. And also I'm going to be writing uh, what the kids are gonna have for school lunch since they will be starting school tomorrow. I am working now. I'm watching vlogs and I'm working on this shadow box. I'm done with the shadow box and I am gonna get started on some t-shirts. I have two t-shirts orders. I think I showed you guys the aprons that I did. Well, the same customer ordered two t-shirts as well. So I'm gonna get those done really, really quick so that way she won't be able to pick it up soon. And then I am going to finish my grocery list that I was making. I need to write down like the kids school like lunches. So I'm gonna put you here. You're not gonna cry, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Don't cry. Just gonna look at baby Andrew. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. 